So when we talk about mass model studies, uh, typically what we're talking about really is shape and form, right? Not detail. We're talking about how we can use tools in ARCHICAD to accomplish this kind of uh, a, um, a use of the tools for this purpose. And of course, there are a variety of different types of mass modeling uh, options and operations that can be done in, in you know, tools, whether that's uh, you know, using a computer, whether that's using mass models from cardboard, whether that's using mass modeling from uh, various purposes you know, that we've used over the years. Of course, today we will talk about how this applies to ARCHICAD. In ARCHICAD, there are a number of tools that can be used for <clears throat> doing massing, and each can have their own specific purpose and use depending upon what it is you're trying to do, and there's no reason why you can't use a combination of each of these different tools. The tools that are most commonly used, um, you know, is probably the zone tool and slab tool um, as probably the two most common for simple block forms, but you can also use the mesh tool, the roof tool, the wall tool, and the sh and what's new to RCAD 15, the shell tool. Also new to RCAD 15 is the ability to have empty openings for skylights. And I'll explain what I mean when I go through that um, as we begin to do very simple kind of block shapes. But you can use the option for empty opening here, um, both with the new skylight as well as, of course, with uh, things like the um, uh, empty opening for uh, windows and doors as well. But that does, with a new skylight option, it does allow you to very simply and very quickly place empty openings into any element within ARCHICAD so that uh, you could, um, and I should say any element, uh, specific elements such as shell tool or roof tool, those two tools, you can place very quick empty openings into those as part of a design process. So when we talk about um, uh, mass modeling, <clears throat> a very simple diagram that uh, has often, and I've used many times in the past, and often has talked about, is the zone tool. Because the zone tool allows us to take uh, uh, a space plan diagram, for example, as we talked about last week, and turn on the information so that we can see it in 3D. And we can assign a height to that information within the zone tool, as well as materiality within that zone tool. And this can give us a very simple, very quick um, uh, 3D uh, information for what we've developed as space plans. Now, what's also important, and we touched on a little bit last week, is that if you are using zones and you want to use those zones for a very quick massing kind of diagram, then you need to turn on the zone uh, option and the filter elements in 3D dialog. This is a dialog we'll show today, um, which is basically, by default, uh, the zone is unchecked down here, so everything else is being seen in 3D, but not the zone. So if you want to see the zones, you need to turn this on, and you can also save that with views as well. 